The hairspawn, this is gonna steal the kill. No! No! Drag it! No! No! Alright, what's up boys and girls? It's I Domzilla and welcome back to our Survival Evolved in our Survivor of the Center series. Now, in the coming episodes, as you all know, we will be diving into the caves here on the center map in the hope of finding some artifacts for the boss fight. But if we are to go down there, we will be missing a very important companion to go with. No, I do not mean our beloved Jeff. What we need is an otter. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Now the reason we actually need to get an otter is because they have a specific talent that no other creature has in the game. Otters can hold more than one artifact at a time, which absolutely, again, nothing else in this game can do, not even us as humans. Hector can't even carry more than one. With us being on a solo adventure, we definitely need to utilize this trait that the otter has and get one recruited before we go plummeting into the caves. However, these little buggers are not fun to tame, I will say that one, but I know a few different things we can do to help us make this taming method easier. And the first job on the list is to actually go and tame something that isn't the otter, an ichthy ornis. These guys can fish and bring it to us to feed to the otter, so we need to go and grab one of those guys first of all. Now before we dive into this, as you can see, I do have some levels and that is from the Baryonyx breeding because it is almost finished. However, I am I know you're probably going to be a little bit upset by this, but I'm not actually going to show you how far we've got yet. Because I want to save that until the next episode, but with these two levels, I don't actually know what else we can learn. I don't think that there's nothing... Yeah, this riot gear, which, you know, most people know, it's not actually very good. Um, so, yeah, at the moment, the, the levels are just kind of useless. We're just getting our stats up. But they're the levels. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show the barrier progress. I'm going to save that until then. But, like I mentioned in the last episode, I did actually imprint a baryonyx. 100%, as you can see, just here. Uh, so, here are the stats that it came out with. Uh, and let's jump on them and show you. So I think that these stats are good enough to take on a cave, okay? Especially with the levels, see? Okay, the health goes up like, what, 400, something like that? And the melee goes up about 8%, 8 something like that. Uh, so it's not bad, it's not bad. These guys will do. We're just going to go for some funky colours and I've got some good ones lined up. I can't wait to show you, but we can't go down into the caves without getting ourselves an otter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump the rest of the levels in 100%. 100% is not gonna be a uh, a one that we're gonna use for a long time, but there we go. There's all the levels that I do have in it. I've been killing a lot of fish, been out in the ocean a little bit, getting all the stuff ready to get all these berries ready. So we are gonna take out 100% of today. 100% um, is exactly who we're gonna take out. Now, for the Ichthy Ornis, they do require regular kibble. Now, if I'm not... Yeah, there we go. We do still have some made up from the Baryonyx taming when we did that. Um, and what else do we need? We need some bowlers to tame these guys with. We are just going to use Trank Arrows as well. I do already have Trank Arrows. Uh, we've only got one bowler. We're going to have to craft up a few more of those. Let's go ahead and grab three of those. That should be way more than enough. And we also have grapples, because we're going to try and use grapples to tame the otter with. And I'll show you how we're going to use that. But we need to go and find the ichthy first. So I don't think we're going to mess around too much. I think I've pretty much explained everything that we need to do. Um, but the baryonic stuff will be next episode. And then the episode after that, we can finally go into a cave. <laughs> as long as everything goes smoothly today. I'm not enjoying the weather just yet. Uh, <laughs> But hopefully Ichthy shouldn't be too hard to find because they're always down here and they're always peeving me off when I go and get some oil or pearls from down there. But I think we're pretty much ready to go. You know, we've got the bowlers, we've got the grapples, we've got some trank arrows. I might actually take a few more trank arrows just to be safe. Uh, but we are going to leave Jeff here because we're going to need the shoulder free. So let's grab a couple of those. That should be way more than enough. Five kibbles should be enough to tame at least a max level. I'm not too bothered about the level of it, to be totally honest. But... Yeah, I think uh, I might actually wait for this little bit of storm to pass. Um, it's the middle of the day. And then we're going to go looking for an ichthy. Now, I can't actually see many ichthys chilling around here, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but there is a yellow drop coming in. However, I don't actually know where it's landing because it kind of stops. Can we see it in the water? We can see it in the water. Okay. We're going to grab this yellow drop while we're here because we still haven't been getting a lot of loot drops, to be fair. We've not really been out exploring, but that is what we've got the barry for. There's going to be a lot of exploring coming up soon. Uh, that's a dime more. But there's no ichthys up here, so we're going to have to go to the rivers. Um, but let's grab this yellow drop while we're here. What we got? Anything good? Hello? Uh... 
a mammoth saddle. It's kind of useless to us, to be honest, but it'll do for now. Right, let's uh, let's get moving. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll head on down to the lakes that are surrounding us, the rivers that flow through the middle of the center map, and then we'll have a look, and hopefully we can find Ichthy relatively quickly. Now, one thing that I am worried about is the likes of finding another Baryonyx in the water, because if we get swept off, I've got a funny feeling that we might actually die. <laughs> uh, but what we can do, actually, is we can show you just how powerful we have made our Baryonyx just from the imprinting. So we've got a Spino here. What level is he? There we go, 120, so it's a relatively decent fight. Let's do it. Look at this. We're absolutely shredding it. His health's just flying down. Come on, 100%er. Get it. Nice. Easy. Easy stuff, boys. But at the moment, we found one. There we go. I was about to say we haven't found any yet, but we found a couple. Uh, again, I'm not too bothered about the level. Um, I'm just going to keep pumping a little bit of melee in 100%er. Um, all right, okay. There's quite a few here. What we got? 60... Um, 120, 120 could definitely do. Um, again, like the the level doesn't really matter at all. Um, I don't like the fact that there's a load of them here. What we need to do is we need to try and get a couple of their attentions. That's that's the plan. So let's have a look and see if we can hit a couple. We'll get 100% or on follow, just so we know that she is with us. Right, let's see if we can. These are the worst things to hit. The hitbox on them is absolutely terrible, especially with a bow. So maybe we just use a shotgun. Okay, they're all around here. Okay, I can't even... <laughs> oh, there we go. That's, we've got one of their attentions at least. Right. Um, let's have a look, see what we can do. I hope that this isn't the 120. That's the 60. Okay, I just want to get rid of some of the poopy levels so we can make room for the good one. That's 24, we don't want that. Uh, where'd the other high level go? There we go, he's just chilling on the water. That's the 120, okay, we want that one. I do want that one. Now, how are we going to do this? We don't really want to kill it. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? I'm a bit scared to go in the water in case there's a Barry looming underneath. But it might be the best way to get his attention, so. Hello, Mr. Ichthy. Come get us. Probably should have bought some rare flowers. It probably would have been a, a bit of a mess, but it would have worked. Uh, right. Right, okay. I hit the ichthy. Here we go. All right, now let's move over here. I forgot to put the bowlers on the bar, which was shocking from me. All right, now let's see if we can do this. Okay. Oh, okay, you dropped the weapon. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I've lost all four bowlers. As long as it doesn't get the kibble off me. Because that could be terrible. Um, okay. He's ran away from us, but I've lost... Oh, okay, the bowlers are here. All right, now let's put these on the bar. I would have been a lot more prepared if I had those on the bar. Uh, where'd he go? Hey! Come here. I don't really want to shoot him with a shotgun again, because it might actually kill it. Okay, there we go. I've got it. Got his attention. Is he coming? He's not coming. Why is he not coming? He's not interested. Alright, let's see if we can hit this bowler. Got it! There we go, we got it! Wait, where's he going? Alright, let's get him down. Go to sleep. Oh, I think he's gonna die. Oops. <laughs> that did not work. Oh no, Barry, just eat him. Just eat him. Alright, let's find another one. Oh, shotgun was a bad idea, boys. <laughs> Okay, out of the two, I'm pretty sure that there's a 24, yeah, and there's a 162 here. So we kind of need to get the 162. Uh, that's my plan, anyway. So now we just need to try and get his attention again. Um, that was a terrible shot. Okay, that definitely ragged. Oh, it didn't rag, it just uh, it definitely hit. That's what I should have said. So you can hear it hitting. The hitboxes on these things are the worst in the game. Um, let's get the right things out, Dom. Let's... That might have got his attention. I don't think that he's interested. Okay, while he's just chilling here on top of the water. See, look, it is hitting. It's just not registering. There we go. That one registered. Alright, now let's try this again. Alright, okay. Nope. 
No. Okay, okay. I'm messing this up. I've actually never tamed one of these, though. That was a bad throw. Oh, he's nearly dead. He's actually nearly dead. It is. It's nearly dead. Um, I don't think that this is going to work. Oh, I've only got one bowler left, boys. And a miss. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, we're going to run away. I can't be bothered with this. Uh, we'll figure a different way out how to do this. Uh, I'm probably going to go get some Trank Darts. That probably would have been a better idea. <laughs> now, at the moment, I can't actually find any at all. So, I've decided to come over here because I remember that there was some Lumen around, around these islands anyway last time, um, but I've not found any since the 162, I decided to not go back for it because of just how bloody it was. Here we go, there's one right up ahead. As soon as I start recording again, I find them, which is a good thing. We've got a 120, which I'll happily take, or what do we have, a 24. I'll be honest, I'm not too bothered what it is, but I have got five uh, five arrows, five darts, so that, that'll, uh, that'll not kill it, I hope. <laughs> You know, if we need to. Um, I'm not too bothered about if we get the 24 or the 120. So, I need to put the bowlers on the bar again. I've made 10 now, just to be safe. Because this should be the easy bit of the episode, really. Right, let's... There we go. Let's get him on stop. Right, you come to me. Okay, we just got hit, which is cool. That's all good. Are you coming back, or... Hello? There we go. That was terrible. I'm just, I'm just not very good at this, am I? Nope. <laughs> Hello. There we go. We got it. Uh, what level is this one? This is the 24. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna knock it out and I'm gonna leave it here. Okay. Right. It shouldn't have too much unconsciousness. I'm gonna put one kibble in it. One kibble should tame that thing up, and then we'll go for this one as well while we're here. Just because it's a higher level, like I say, it doesn't really matter about the level. Um, but a higher level would be preferred. There's a Baryonyx there. Right, we need to keep an eye on that. Uh, maybe we can get that thing's attention and kill it. Uh, I'm a little bit scared to go back in the water. Okay, it's there. Now, let's see if we can get this thing's attention. To be fair, as long as it's swimming away, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hello, Piranha. Ow. All right, let's uh, let's kill that. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> right, Ichthy, you come in. Might have a bit of a better chance of getting a hitbox while we're on the Barry. All right, hello, Are you coming? You coming? You're just chilling over my head. Surely you're coming. Either way, that one's going to tame up lovely. It shouldn't take more than one kibble to get a 24. 24 super low. Uh, okay, this thing's just flying away now. Hello? I'm still really concerned about that barrier that was chilling over here. Oh, well, if we get the 24, we get the 24. Uh, I, again, I really don't know if it matters about the level of these things. Um, it doesn't want to eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose I'll just wait till we get this guy up. 24 will do. All it is is for fishing. We just need to figure out how to actually make this thing fish. That'll be the biggest challenge of this episode. I'm finding an otter. Otters are not easy to find on this map, I've heard. Tame! <laughs> okay, I tamed the Ichthy, but I was going to try and get this one's attention as well, but... Never mind, we've got the Ichthy, that's all that matters. Uh, it's got something called Hunt above his name. We're going to figure this thing out. <laughs> Whoa, this thing's massive. <laughs> it's absolutely ginormous on my shoulder. It's almost bigger than Hector. What is that all about? <laughs> He's very bloody. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on here. I'm going to get him off the log and we're going to we're gonna wait till the heel's up just a little bit. As, as you can tell, I, I've genuinely never tamed one of these things before. All right, stop. Uh, you have the fish meat 100 percent Uh, you've not got a lot, but I'll take it. Right, it's on hunt. So how how do these things work? Hunt and retrieve. No hunt. 
<laughs> what is that? The noises are awful. I don't know what we're going to call this thing. We're only going to be using it for this episode. But if you guys want to give it a cool name, then uh, drop it down below. You know, we do like to let you guys name things up. So if you have any cool names for the Ixie, then drop it down below. Now what we need to do is we need to patrol all these waters and try and find ourselves an otter. Now this is not going to be easy to do because like I did mention earlier, these things are rather rare. Um, and they're just not easy to find. Oh look, there's a million ichthys here now, but they're all like 180 as well. There's got to be a 180 in here. No? Am I wrong? I'm very wrong, so I'll shut up. But I'm going to go to the middle, okay? If you can see in between the middle there, I'll probably zoom in. Um, that is where we're going to go because that is where they are mostly predominant for spawning. So I'm going to head over there and then we'll see what's cracking and see if we can find ourselves an otter. So it's night time, it's thunderstorming, I can't see a great deal. However, I have checked that entire river and there's not a single otter. So it is true, they are literally incredibly rare on this map. So at the moment we're struggling, we are struggling, but I feel like we can definitely prevail. Uh, I've still got all this river to go in and out of. So if I find one, I suppose, you know, we'll be we'll be back accordingly. Um, but this is a big river. Hopefully there's one chilling in here somewhere. But we found absolutely nothing. I want to go and get that yellow drop. That'd be, uh, that'd be good. And then we're going to patrol this river. Because we need the drops, okay? There's another barry over there. I did run into a couple of problems with barriers, but... They were easily sorted, luckily. Luckily. Um, but I was hoping I was going to do the trick where I start recording and it just spawns in like it has been doing. But it's not happening, okay? It's not happening. According to the Ark Legend, if they have a ring around it, normally it means that it's a good drop. So let's have a look. No, it does not. That is shocking, boys. That is absolutely shocking. But uh, I don't know. I suppose we'll just keep plodding along. We definitely need to get into the caves if we want to start finding some good loot. But we need an otter. Where are all the otters at? I do not know. We're not having much luck at all. As you can see, it's not very easy to see inside of here, okay? What worries me is that it's still hard to see barriers as well. Because if we get taken off, we are going to get chefed up. Um... But at the moment, <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. And now in my look, we are going to find an otter, and it's going to be right wicks that no fish are. Which would be terrible, okay? That would not be good for us. <sighs> so I'm just going to keep patrolling the river. I ain't going to bore you with traipsing through the entire river system. If I find an otter, we'll be back on it. If not, then I don't really know what we're going to do. Panic? Probably panic. <laughs> Where the otter's at? Still no luck on the otter front, and uh, I am actually getting a little bit worried now that we won't find one at all. Um, but I've been killing a load of Hesponus and getting some organic polymer, so that's the thing. We got a ramshackle mate and a therium saddle. That may actually become useful uh, one day. I mean, I'm hoping we're going to get better than ramshackle, but it'll do for now because we will be using megatheriums, like I mentioned last episode. Um, but it's nice going out and getting a couple of drops. I just wish that there was some otters. I've literally just cleared out this bit. Um, I don't know if anything spawned back in. There's some Hespawn is spawned back in. Um, but at the moment, it's not looking good at all. We've got a Barry over there. That I'm not too happy about. Um, is he coming? Ooh! Oh, God, that, that got me. That got me. That spooked me. Uh, let's get out of the water in case he does come. But at the moment, nothing. I've got a funny feeling that when these Barrys are spawning in... That they are killing the otters. There you go. There's the Barry dealt with. It was just the one, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah, but as you can see, there's just there's just no otters. I don't know where they are. I don't know why they're not here. But this is where they all spawn. They all spawn in the middle. Um, let's get rid of those piranhas. But there's no otters at the moment, okay? Um, and I, I am worrying a bit now that we won't get one. Because um, that's what I've based this entire episode on. <laughs> Where did the T-Rex come from? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what's happening. I think the Parionics are just like instantly killing the Otters. So we're not having much luck uh, at all. But I'll just keep plodding. Um, I'll either come back with an Otter found. Uh, it's probably going to take some time. Or I will come back with us doing something for the rest of the episode. <laughs> But yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens. At least it's morning time now. 
No, go away. Oh, no way. No way. An otter. Oh, it's a 156. Oh, no way. This is like literally right next to the base. It, it is literally. Look, this is the bay. Oh, my God. It's a 156 as well. Look at him. Right. Right, we need to... We need, uh, he's literally the one that I found. So what we need to do now... I can't believe we found one. Right, so here's how I tame otters, okay? What we're going to do... We're going to grapple him. We're going to pull him towards us just like this. So now we can't escape. There we go. We put that away. As you can see, he cannot escape. Lovely stuff. Now we need to try and figure out how to use this ichthy. Because with the otter, okay... They do eat... <laughs> calm. They do eat fish, okay? But the fish that they eat is they eat whole fish, okay? So you don't knock them out. They're like a passive tame in a sense. Uh, we don't want to get on the Barry. Let's let's tell the Barry to go there. He's not listening. Okay, you stay there then, buddy. Um, right, let's have a look, see what fish we've got in here. Do we have a lot? Not particularly, no. Um, do we have... Any relatively closer? I can't believe that we found one. I can't believe it. I've literally been searching for like a good 30 minutes. Right, there's a lot of fish here. That might be easier for this guy to go and get us some stuff. Right, let's get the Barry over here. Come here. Come here, just in case we get attacked by anything, because that could definitely mess things up. Right, now let's get the Ichthy down. Right, okay, let's get you to stop following. Uh, hunt. Hunt and retrieve. Now, if I'm correct, we just throw him. There we go. Right, okay. Now he's on his way. He's looking for stuff to kill. Go get it, Ichthy. Um. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> go get it, Ichthy. <laughs> Look at the art. <laughs> As you can see, though, it says... Go Whoa. What does it say? It says get a fish to feed, doesn't it? Yeah, drag fish to feed. Okay, the ichth is having none of it. Do we have to throw him directly into the water? Let's throw him to that. Wait, did he just hit the otter? Wait, is he hitting the otter? He's hitting the otter. Uh, okay, that might be a problem then. Why is it still following me? Okay. Um, oh no, the otter is hitting the ichthy. Stop! Oh, god damn it. Okay, I've messed this up, I think, boys. Um, maybe we're not going to be able to use the Ichthy. Why does it keep following me and unfollowing me? Is he going to attack me now? He is attacking me. Brilliant. Wait, is he stopped? Okay, he stopped. I don't really know what happened then. Um, the Ichthy is, like, really bloody because this art is a high level. I hope that we don't have to go in the water and do it ourselves. This is, like, completely pointless. If it is, then I'm going to go kill the Ichthy. Right, okay. Maybe uh, maybe we can't use the grapple then. I don't know. Let's throw him up there. If he goes for this again... There, okay. All right, let's try again. Ichthy, go get the fish. Do not come for this otter, I swear down. He was literally coming for the otter. This is not going well. We might have to go in and kill the salmons ourselves. No, nope. okay, he's got one. He's got one. He's got one. Okay, come to me. Come to me. Ichthy, come to me. Okay, we have to throw it directly at it, which is kind of annoying. All right, now let's whistle passive. Okay, that worked. That worked. Right, now we need to feed the otter. Come here, otter. Now, hopefully... This... Oh, my God, this is not going well. <laughs> All right, otter, come here. Come here. The hitbox on them is just terrible. Okay, all right, let's see if we can do this. Oh my god, this is so annoying. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the best taming method ever. Right, okay. Now, Otter, come here. It's just so hard to get the hitbox. So hard to get the hitbox. It's actually so annoying. But with the grapples, it does help, trust me. Imagine if we didn't have grapples trying to do this. There we go. Okay, we got one in. Right, Ichthy. You need to go and find us some more fish. Have we got any knocking about? Um, any that's close, preferably. I oh, see it. Go get the piranha. Okay, he's going far, bro. Or is he coming back to us? <gasps> Don't let the piranha hit the otter. 
Oh no. Oh no, I think it's hit the otter. It doesn't matter if it loses too many levels, but I think it has lost the taming effectiveness already. Alright. We'll do it this way then. <laughs> There's supposed to be a much easier and safer way of doing this. But it's not working. <laughs> and the storms come back, it's all just gone messed up, boys. I might have to label this video how not to tame an otter. Because I think that's reset its um its taming stuff. Yeah, it's reset it. It's lost some levels. Um God damn it. God damn it. This is not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know. I've never used this before. This was supposed to be a new tactic of mine. I've got some arrows in here. Let's see if we can use arrows to do this with. Arrows might be better. Because the Barry just instantly harvests stuff. So we're going to have to do it like this. But this way it will work. Okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. That's one salmon. Hopefully all of his buddies know about the beef. Right, let's feed the otter. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. But you get the general gist of what you need to do. Okay, right, that's got a lot of effectiveness already. Right, let's get this one down. We didn't even need the ichthy. Whoever uses the ichthy, it doesn't work, okay? Watch out for piranha again. Okay, back up, back up, back up. The hairspawn, this is going to steal the kill. No! No! Drag it! No! 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 Hespawnist, don't you dare. Alright, okay. Oh my god, this is pain. Right, okay, we've nearly got him. We've nearly got him. We just need one more salmon, ideally. Um, let's see if we can hit that one. Okay, I just swam down. We ain't getting that one. Um, ready? Now. Got it. Okay, good. Okay, he's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. That one, okay, it did reg. Okay, that should be all of it. That is good. That is good. It is a 180. So that should finish this off. Oh, God, there's another one coming. Don't hit the otter. Don't hit the otter. Right, okay. Uh, tame it. Yes! There we go. We've got him. 232 is not bad. I will take it, okay? I will take it. There we go. We got him. Look at him in all his glory. Look how happy he is. <laughs> we didn't even need the Ichthy. All right? I don't think we're even going to give that thing a name, okay? Look at him. You were completely useless. Completely useless, okay? If you're going to tame otters, ju just, just use the grappling hook method and <laughs> just use some arrows. This guy... You're pointless. <laughs> We're going to keep him. He's going to sit in the base. In fact, just so you guys can't give him an actual name, Mr. Useless. Oh, wait, it's a missus, isn't it? Okay. I have Mrs. Useless. Lovely stuff. You can go in the ball. Completely irrelevant. But we got the otter. Look at him. He's going to keep us warm. He's going to he's gonna do some good insulation stuff for us. And he can hold the artifact, so that's good. Now, let's get back to base, which we are very close. I can't believe there was one right here. Literally here. Like, I didn't even check down here, to be fair. Uh, I can't believe it took us that long to find one. But we did it. We did it. We did it without the ichthy. So, the part, the first part of the episode was pretty irrelevant. <laughs> but now you know how to tame an ichthy. Or not how to tame an ichthy. I don't know. It was all a bit messy, really. But we did exactly what we set out to do. We got ourselves an otter. But we're almost back at base now. Here we are, we are back home, we are safe and sound, and we have something to put on our new otter friend. So let's go ahead and bang it on. We actually used the kind of helmet that we got. Look at it! Yeah! <laughs> I don't actually have any more skins. This is the only one that we have at the moment. But this is what he's going to be rocking around with now. But we did it! We got the otter! Now we're ready to get that baryonyx made up. And now we can start heading into the caves because this guy's going to be so useful. We can finally carry more than one artifact at the same time, which we are definitely going to need. But now we've got him. We're happy. We're happy. He's happy. But he does need a name. So if you do have any name suggestions for our new otter friend, m please make it a good one. Okay? Because he's going to be coming with us on every cave journey. Jeff is absolutely furious about it. He's just chilling up here, look, with Mrs. Useless. He's fuming that he's not coming, but he can't carry all the 
the artifacts. So Mr. Otter's going to have to come. So please remember, if you do have any good names, drop them in the comment section and I will pick them either in the next video or the video after, depending on when this goes out. But yeah, we've got him. Jobs are good. And anyway, boys and girls, that is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop the video a like, subscribe and ding the notification bell to keep up with further center shenanigans. Now that we have recruited the otter, we can obtain the artifacts here on the center map to a very efficient standard. I know the Ichthy ended up being rather useless, but nevertheless, we managed to overcome the issue and grab ourselves our new shoulder pet. Admittedly, my taming method was a little unorthodox and not completely on plan, but it worked, didn't it? And that's all that really matters in the end. But that is all from me, all of our shoulder buddies, and an aspiration for caving. We'll see you next time.